What's good guys? Okay, so I hear this question a lot. How do I grow my glutes without growing my legs? So I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Um, most great glute exercises, they're gonna activate your leg muscles as well. So you know, some of our favorites like our lunges, split squats and hip thrusts, they're gonna work the quads. So as someone who would consider themselves fairly quad dominant, you know, I train legs hard. Uh, I also cycle, which isn't the best for working the glutes. I've had to find a way to isolate my glute muscles to make sure I'm really working them. So that's what I'm gonna share with you guys today. Now, I know some of you have your gyms open, which is great, you're training. Some of us are still at home. So I'm gonna show you guys variations of what you can do at the gym and at home as well. All right, I'm ready to go and get this session in. So as always, I'm starting with some glute activation. So the exercises I perform for this can vary, but I wanted to show you guys these exercises since we're really focusing on isolation today. So usually on these workout videos that are talking about isolating the glutes, you'll see people start with hip thrusts. But to isolate the glutes as much as possible, we're actually starting with the glute bridge to avoid working the quads too much. So to do a glute bridge, you have to drive your hips up until you form a straight line with your body between your shoulders and knees. You really wanna make sure you're squeezing your glutes at the top of each rep and then lowering yourself with control before repeating. So try to keep your shins vertical and your toes should be straight or slightly angled outwards. So the main thing is you don't want your knees to fall inwards. So you can perform this exercise without any weight or with a dumbbell or barbell. Okay, moving on to single leg elevated hip thrusts. So when you train unilaterally, you can't rely on your stronger side to make up for the lack of strength in your weaker side. So not only is this exercise good for isolating the glutes, but also for isolating each side. Okay, so you wanna start by lying face up on the floor with your knees bent and your feet on a bench or box. So I'm starting with my right foot off the bench, pushing my hips upward and keeping my right leg elevated. So you want a slight pause while you squeeze your glutes and then slowly lower your body and leg back to the starting position. And again, this can be performed with or without weight. To be honest, I feel the burn either way. So the frog reverse high part is one of my absolute favorite exercises. Um, I either do this as glute activation during my workout or as a finisher. So you can actually use a reverse hyper extension machine at the gym, but even if I'm training at home uh, or the gym, I like to use a bench or a flat surface. So most of this motion should be in your hips with a strong glute contraction at the top. You can also add a dumbbell for some added intensity. So if you find this exercise uncomfortable or difficult to keep your feet together, you can try the prone glute lift. a frog pump in every glute session. So to do this, you wanna lie flat on your back. You wanna bend your knees, but keep your feet together. So your feet should be positioned comfortably underneath your glutes, brace your core and squeeze your glutes as you drive your hips up. So there's a few variations for this exercise. You can use a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or you can also have your shoulders elevated for an increased range of motion. To do the side plank into abduction, you want to start by lying on your side with your joints lined up in a straight line. 
So you wanna bend your bottom leg roughly to 90 degrees and then bring your hips off of the ground. The main thing here is you wanna keep your upper body stable while you raise your top leg. So you can also perform this with having both knees bent and you can also use a dumbbell or just body weight. The final exercise I want to show you guys is a standing hip abduction. So to perform this, you want to stand with your feet slightly apart, your knees bent, your hands on your hips, or use a wall for balance. And you want to shift your weight to one leg, keeping it slightly bent, and raise your other leg, keeping your toes flexed. Flexing your toes makes such a difference. I want you guys to try it with flexing your toes and without, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So you can also perform this exercise with a straight leg, however I feel it so much more with my knees bent. Okay guys, and there we have it. My favorite exercises to isolate the glutes as much as possible. So one thing I love to do guys is with each set, I'll increase the weight I'm using, but just go at your own pace, get a feel for the movement, because um, as always, the form is super important. So guys, consistency is key. I say it all the time, but if you want to grow your glutes, be consistent. So if there's any videos you guys want to request, then leave me a comment below, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and press that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Mwah!